in the rough waters of the North Sea off the coast of Helgoland. Our raiding task force has been met by part of the British Home Fleet. And by the looks of it, we are at the very least outnumbered and possibly also outgunned. Our task force consists of the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große, an old Nassau class pre dreadnought, and we have the Große Kurfürst, the Deutschland, and the Helgoland, as well as the Hessen, all of which are Deutschland class battleships. Uh, we have the York, which is a von der Tann class battle cruiser, uh, two Dresden class light cruisers, and two destroyers, whereas the British are fielding uh, the a 25,000 ton battleship. Uh, make that two, <laughs> actually make that three, <laughs> uh, as well as a, 20, a 28,000 ton repulse class battle cruiser. We've already men, uh, met, met this as uh, combined with a force of lighter ships, uh, heavy cruisers li and light cruisers, as well as a group of destroyers. This task force is potentially significantly more powerful than what we have to field, but on a demands that we will give battle, and battle we shall give. We're forming up the fleet into two battle lines. Hello everyone, by the way, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we have a hard battle ahead of us. We're forming up the fleet into two battle lines. We've got Deutschland, Helgoland and Hessen in the first line and the Großer Kurfürst, Wilhelm der Große and York are currently forming up. The uh, Wilhelm der Große is probably uh, the most powerful ship that we have in the fleet with a fair set of 280mm guns. Make that, uh, what have we got, 10 all in all, but we do have this wing turret arrangement, whereas the Deutschland class is a much older sort of uh, sort of pre-dreadnought ship with only two 280mm guns. Everyone's got a good set of secondaries and our escort forces are certainly outmatched by what the British are bringing along. So we've got the Rostock uh, uh, and she's currently forming up with the Stralsund. Stralsund has to change sides because the enemy has been spotted, uh, we have spotted smoke in the southwest. So we're sending the two destroyers out to scout and uh, we're actually going to not use our torpedoes just yet. We want to make sure that that's, <laughs> that that's in good hands. And uh, yeah, then the main, the two battle lines are going to, are going to, uh, to turn to, uh, turn to ports uh, somewhat, but we do want to, we do want to uh, scout, we do want to scout first while the, uh, the second line under the Kaiser Wilhelm de Große is forming up first. So let's get that all underway. There might be some action here, but for now we will uh, observe where our enemy is. And the destroyers with the best concealment obviously are, are going to go uh, straight southwest in order to get some scouting done and hopefully can disengage and get back to the main group before we are before we actually come, before they come under fire. We have spotted enemy ships and it looks like that the initial smoke uh, that we've, we've, no, we've noticed was uh, was quite off. They are actually they are actually attacking us from the west. So the spottings were were quite off. We are going to we are going to take evasive action here with the two battle lines for now. And the light cruisers may have to, actually we're gonna, to, uh, the light cruisers are the first one to engage. The destroyers have actually, uh, have actually kind of missed their opportunity. So we're going to get them to return. Uh, there might be torpedoes in the water. So we are going to take a hard, a hard turn, hope, and the light cruisers are going to lay smoke and uh, getting ready for torpedo launches themselves. We have spotted enemy warships, but I think these are either destroyers or light cruisers as well. So uh, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can make some, uh, we can make something happen here. I think torpedoes have been, have been spotted, but the Rostock is coming out. Yeah, torpedoes have been spotted. The Rostock is coming under significant fire. Is that a threat towards the battle line? Not sure. We're going to get Deutschland to turn. We have slowed down somewhat. And yeah, Rostock is, get, is taking some fire here. 
but hopefully we can re we can get the two destroyers to return. Where did they go, actually? Yeah, they're here. They're, they're all the way here. And um, we might be able to. We're gonna get some. We might be able to get some torpedoes off, but uh, they're also going to lay smoke and try to get back out of there. The, the second line is definitely too close and needs to disengage slightly. And uh, yeah, we are we are seeing some torpedoes coming in. They have definitely surprised us here, and uh, they have managed to take the element of surprise. We are going to uh, put full steam on both um, Rostock and Stralsund. Rostock is taking uh, has taken a, a torpedo hit, unfortunately. So lots of torpedoes in the water here. She is turning wildly, but there are lots of torpedoes coming in, which means we may also have to um, we may have to drop speed on the uh, Wilhelm der Große. And uh, yeah, there are definitely torpedoes incoming. That was a that was a surprisingly good action by the British. They have managed to surprise us here and uh, have uh, up oh, that torpedo on that. That's good. Uh, yeah, Rostock needs to disengage. Uh, Rostock needs to detach and uh, retreat if possible. Uh, Stralsund as well needs to. Uh, yes, we are taking a lot of torpedo uh, torpedoes now. Okay, Deutschland needs to see that she can dodge these torpedoes, and um, the Wilhelm der Große is already flooding as well. I'm not sure if she's taken a torpedo hit, but we've definitely taken a battering from their scouting group. Which has, to, which has managed to sneak up on us uh, without our own scouts uh, being able to detect them. So uh, it looks like it looks like mo this, uh, the first battle group has mostly managed to manage to avoid uh, taking damage. And uh, yeah, the Rostock is re is retreating. Stralsund needs to uh, needs to get in there and uh, take on. Take on that the the enemy destroyers. Where is my own destroyer group? Okay, my own destroyer group has been intercepted on the way back, and is actually being being now uh, taken on by the light cruisers. But we will see if we can manage to get some torpedoes away of our own. And um, we have uh, we have gotten a torpedo hit. I'm not sure who who did it on what because it's starting to become a very quickly confused battle. It looks like the enemy battle cruisers are way behind the scouting group, and our reports have been completely off. In that uh, the ships were actually were in fact uh, not to the southwest as we initially thought. So Stralsund is giving chase on the Wren and uh, has taken another torpedo, unfortunately. So we'll see if we can get our destroyers out of here, but uh, the the. The whole formation is in disarray, and uh, we have we've taken a couple of torpedo hits that are that we really could have done without. The enemy battle group, the majority of the enemy battle group is further uh, is further away. We have, however, sunk a light cruiser due to heavy flooding. So we are uh, yeah, there's the light cruiser that's been sinking. Uh, we are now starting to engage the uh, engage the actual battle group ahead of it of the heavy of the heavy ships. Uh, Rostock it can can probably be saved. Uh, we have managed to get a torpedo hit on one of the enemy destro destroyers, but Stralsund herself has a, has a s relatively strong amount of flooding as well and has dropped speed to 15 knots. Uh, we will increase speed, but uh, we have we have taken some severe losses on our scouting force and uh, screening force, which is quite unfortunate because that means we might eventually be running into more torpedoes <laughs> if we can't really do anything about these ships. At the same time, uh, we do need to start uh, targeting the okay. The Wanderer is down. We do need to start targeting. Uh, we're going to drop some speed here. On the on the leading group, and we are going to start targeting the Iron Duke. Uh, the destroyers are uh, the destroyers are now going to focus on the Tetrarch, and the second battle group under the Wilhelm der Große as well needs to uh, what is it? Alt right click needs to actually need focus everything on the Tetrarch here. I don't want to take more torpedo hits if I can avoid it, and. 
that should hopefully make make relatively short work of them. So the destroyers are going to come around and try to try to assist here. The Stralsund as well, even though she's quite heavily damaged. Let's see if we can get the Tetrarch killed before she can get uh, more torpedoes away. But uh, that destroy here, the what is that? The Oxford. This one worries me a little bit, but she's out, she seems to be out of torpedoes, so they are actually less uh, dangerous at this point. So we're going to uh, definitely so shift alt right click. We're going to start focusing our fire onto the Iron Duke. Uh, there is the Wheeler, which is also out of torpedoes. So let's see if we can get the if we can get the heavy hitters to more to form up more. Oh, it looks like our, it looks like one of our destroyers has, um, has, uh, has suffered a flash fire. Yeah, that's, a, that's an exploding turret. So, I don't think that ship's going to survive, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, and I think that's the, that was the end of our destroyer force. We still have, uh, we still have the Stralsund. Uh, Tetrak is sinking. Stralsund can still take on the Oxford. Yeah, we've lost the V10, and the Wilhelm der Große is starting to take take a fair amount of fire. So we will probably we will probably have to okay uh, we will probably have to turn here. We're going to turn the second group because I want to focus our fire. Uh, try to focus down the Iron Duke, although the Iron Duke, by the looks of it, is disengaging. Which means, so while the Stralsund is going to target the Oxford with the light weapons, um, I would like all the battleships on this group to target the, um, the Iron Duke, and we are actually going to perform a turn on the second group here under Deutschland and also start uh, targeting, the, targeting the Iron Duke. There is another destroyer, but I think the wheeler is going to be able, we're going to be able to make sure that the secondaries are going to, are going to sink that ship. Uh, we might be running into our own sinking destroyer here. Um, but yeah, the, the, the wheeler is going to go down. She, I don't think she's going to be, she's going to be staying for very long. So uh, the secondaries at this range, the secondaries are going to finish her off. Uh, Stralsund has engine damage, but can, is taking on the Oxford. And the um, Wilhelm der Große, the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große, is uh, has taken some damage and has some flooding in the bow section. But I do want to to get into I do want to get into effective range and uh, get out of the range of these all these heavy cruisers here. So we're gonna we're gonna go all ahead flank on the Deutschlands group and. Uh, uh, that, that's the, yeah, the, the wheeler is going to go down. Uh, the Wren is out of torpedoes, and so is the Oxford. So the Stralsund is going to be able to finish that one off, I believe. That should not be a problem. But my bigger problem is with the, uh, is with these, is with this group, uh, group over here, with the heavy hitters over there. So we are taking a lot of fire from, from that group, and I would like to, Although these guys are disengaging, so maybe a better, uh, yeah, the exports for sinking. Maybe a better option is to actually uh, focus fire onto these cruisers here and see if we can do something about that. We've got the Minotaur, which is a heavy cruiser, sporting 213 millimeter guns. So let's see if we can get that thing uh, dealt with by by these groups, and we will we will perform. We will, if the Wilhelm der Große can make the turn, we will have, uh, we will perform a turn to, a turn to uh, port. And uh, yeah, the Deutschland class has trouble even against the heavy cruisers. So we'll see, we'll see how well this is gonna work out. That's, I don't even know what that yet is. That might be a heavy cruiser as well. But um, we'll see if we can, if we can manage to get some hits in. But it looks like this group here, the Iron Duke and the Conqueror, are actually disengaging. So in that case, we will try to open up the distance, get some repairs in, 
and uh, see if we can, yeah, Kaiser Wilhelm der Große has lost a bit of speed actually. See if we can, uh, if we can deal some blows to these, uh, to these cruisers here. Okay, it looks like, let's get her straightened out and concentrate fire on the, what is this? Uh, Narcissus, a heavy cruiser. Yeah, with 213. They do have torpedoes, so we do have to be careful, which is why I would like these ships to... Uh, we are probably in torpedo range, actually, of these ships. So uh, we do have to be somewhat careful. We will, we will keep, keep uh, performing turns, turns to port, just to avoid any potential torpedoes, and try to focus fire on the Narcissus now from both groups and see if we can make something happen here and take these, take these cruisers out before they come too close. Interestingly enough, their heavy ships are somewhat far away, but uh, we do need to thin out the, the cruiser groups first. Okay, what else do we have? We still have the Stralsund, which is uh, still in battle with one of the destroyers over there. Yeah, uh, take out the Wren if you can. And we've got the Rostock, which is retreating. So it's really just the two battle lines left from us here at this point. And we'll have to try to, to do what we can and see if we can get some hits in on the Narcissus. We have some torpedoes in the water. And uh, unfortunately, the Kaiser Wilhelm, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm der Große has reported, has reported some severe rudder problems and uh, seems, to be, seems to be uncontrollable at this point. We are going to detach her and uh, see if we can, get the rest of the, uh, the, we can get the rest of the group combat effective. But the Narcissus is now sinking due to extensive fire. And as we can see, flash fire has erupted, the, uh, the turrets are flying everywhere, and I think that ship is doomed. We'll focus our fire on the Minotaur now, but I would like to open up the distance a little bit and get our, get our divisions back under control. There are torpedoes in the water, so evasive maneuvers on the group of the Deutschland. And uh, the the York and uh, the York and the Große Kurfürst are getting back. The Wilhelm de Große seems to be back under control, so we will try to uh, we will try to get her to turn around. But uh, even even our relatively old ships are capable of inflicting some uh, some decent amount of punishment on these on these cruisers. I would like to get the cruisers out of the way first before we are dealing with uh, with the heavies. Okay, Deutschland get. Get back into get back into into formation, and we're gonna get York. We're gonna get the Wilhelm de Große back into the line here. So hopefully, oh, there's another ship over there. Not sure what that is, but um, more torpedoes in the water. I think we will, we are relatively safe here. Uh, but these heavy cruisers have what kind of armor do they they have? Relatively decent armor all around, but I think against the 280 millimeters, that's um, that's not going to give them. It's not going to give, not going to get them very far. So, how is that? There was a destroyer out here somewhere. Uh, Stralsund can lay smoke if she needs to, but um, right now I'm I'm just trying to get the the battle lines back under control. I am going to get the Deutschland to drop speed to 15 knots. And just all ahead full. Ooh, there was some nasty penetrations on uh, on the York here. From uh, what was that? 335 millimeter, probably from the from the enemy battle cruisers. Uh, these things are powerful, so uh, we have definitely we definitely have um, have issues with uh, with those. So let's get uh, let's see if we can finish off some more of those heavy cruisers. So we're going to focus fire on this one while we are getting while we are getting the line back under control. 
the Grosser Kurfürst has issues with the rudder as well. But, um, and she actually has uh, suffered su uh, significant flooding in the rear. Uh, she's probably listing a decent amount. Yeah, she, she is, she has suffered some significant flooding, but we, w we are trying to get uh, through to get them out of here. And then we can slightly turn while we are focusing fire on the Cressy on that heavy cruiser over here and uh, see if we can if we can do some yep yeah, like that we can get some really good hits in from the 280 mils then uh, then that should be that should be successful um, not so sh uh, the Grosser Kurfürst has flooding all the way in the uh, in the stern compartments so the rudder section is probably disabled I am going to detach her and I am going to get her to retreat uh, just to uh, to make sure that uh, that, that line is uh, that, that that line remains combat effective. The Cressy is under heavy fire so we should be able to take her out and let's just deal with all these heavy cruisers here first. Um, how does the rest looking? Now Wilhelm de Grosse has taken flooding in the bow section we are getting penetrating hits from the battle cruisers, which is <laughs> not good, but so far no no critical um, citadel hits or anything. I would really like to try and get the um, get these heavy cruisers out of the way before we engage the battle cruisers. Uh, do we have torpedoes in the water again here? Uh, Stralsund, Hartport, just in case there are torpedoes in the way from the heavy cruisers, and. Uh, we are getting the second group of the York to follow here. Uh, the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große, where's the York? There, Kaiser Wilhelm der Große needs to follow the York. Okay. And the Große Kurfürst is actually is disengaging at this point because she is taking a lot of fire. So let's try, let's try to make uh, let's try to inflict some damage. I think the Cressy is almost done for. Uh, yeah, she's, she's done for, so we'll shift our fire onto the Minotaur. And the Stralsund can actually see if she can, if she can cause some, some havoc here as well. She has taken, every, everyone, everyone's got taken floods. And we also have somebody on the other side there. There is some, I occasionally see the secondaries opening up on the other on the other side, so I'm not sure where that's going. But uh, right now, that group can follow here. We are getting unfortunately close to the battle cruisers, but I would like the so we will turn to port a little bit, and I would like to take the Minotaur out if we can. Uh, Deutschland and Helgoland are still in relatively good shape. And uh, the Wilhelm der Große, unfortunately, is not has taken quite a bit of damage already. Uh, she doesn't quite have the she doesn't quite have the heavy armor of more modern battleships. So these are all relatively old ships. But uh, at this range, we should be able to inflict some damage on the Minotaur. Uh, Stralsund has lost part of her engines because of the the hits in the midsection. Uh, does that thing have torpedoes? Yes, it does. So we will probably uh, again turn to port to avoid torpedoes. And I am going to try... Stralsund is too slow at this point to really do an awful lot. Uh, what can she... She can make 15 knots, which is not an awful lot, but um, maybe she can get some hits in with, the, um, with, her, with her light guns, but I don't think the, the chance of hitting anything is, is relatively high. I am going to go back to full ahead flank with this group. Ow! That was a hit from the actually from the heavy uh, from the heavy cruiser. So even the heavy cruiser guns can do some decent damage. But uh, the Minotaur is now coming under focused fire from the whole group. And while while everybody is trying to organize themselves here, the uh, Großer Kurfürst is disengaging, and the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große is falling into into is falling into uh, is falling into line. 
I do would I would like to get the Minotaur killed. And yes, she is already looking a lot. She is already looking pretty worse for wear. So once we've got once we've got the, we get the heavy shells on target here, I think uh, that heavy cruiser is going to go down as well. If we can hit most of the shell, it's at, at these ranges it's relatively difficult. But uh, there we go. We are st we are getting some hits in. That was a 280 millimeter partial pen on the main deck. So back to the lines here and just making sure that we are controlling this. Yeah, there's still a bunch of, uh, of heavy cruisers out there and I would really like to I would really like to get rid of these before we are taking on the battle cruisers because uh, I, was, I was kind of hoping to have the um, I was kind of hoping to have the destroyers around still, but uh, unfortunately that has all not really worked. So uh, Minotaur is on fire. She's flooding in bow, uh, bow and stern, and she's lost her rudder control. So I think we were going to get rid of that one relatively easily. And we've got the second battle line with the York and the Wilhelm der Große sailing a little behind here. And they can actually start targeting the Blenheim. Uh, that's the, yeah, that's the Minotaur. We've also got the Kent out there that we need to get rid of. And uh, we're just maintaining distance towards the battle cruisers and hoping that their fire remains ineffective. I am going to probably get the Stralsund to go through here and actually just lay smoke. And hopefully that can obscure some of the fire for the, uh, from some of the incom uh, incoming fire from the, from the battle cruisers. There they are, where are they going? That's the Orion, they are actually coming in. So uh, we, will have to, we will have to open up the line again. So Deutschland, hard part to port and uh, York as well, return to port. The Stralsund is laying smoke while we are, while we're trying to keep our distance from the battle cruisers and deal with the heavy cruisers first. So if we can get the shots in at the, if we can get the Minotaur sunk and then the Kent and maybe the Blenheim so we've got the we've got this line focusing on uh, the Blenheim, I think. Yes. Although the Wilhelm der Große is a little bit far away, so her her, her hit chance with the 280 millimeters is 18 percent, which is not great, and uh, but it's still better than what the York can do at the moment. We are a little bit far away, but I don't want to get any cl any closer to the battle cruisers. Okay, that's probably sufficient. So let's see if they give chase. Actually, if we can draw the heavy cruisers away a little bit, that would be that would be kind of ideal. So rudder midships for for both York and Deutschland for their respective leading groups. The Stralsund is laying smoke and needs to can also open up at the Minotaur with her guns, although her, ch her chances of hitting at that, uh, she's out of torpedoes, so her chances of hitting at that range are, min are um, minuscule. So we will try, um, how fast are these? So this is the Orion. Orion is reasonably well armored, but only also has 280 millimeter guns. This is actually, this looks like a pre-dreadnought battleship, actually. Three or five, sorry. This one's got three or fives. Uh, but wing turrets as well, as well as a whole smattering of, of secondaries. Uh, this, this thing makes 24 knots, so that is definitely faster than what we're capable of. So we definitely want to... Um, we actually, we definitely want to, to do what we can here. Uh, I think the Stralsund has just taken a big hit, and uh, yeah, she, the Stralsund is taking hits, so we're going to get her to retreat. And how does how does our operation? Okay, the the, the cruiser group is turning around. Actually, that is interesting. The cruiser group is turning around. So we are maintaining fire at the Minotaur, but um, I, th I will try to pull them a little bit away, but it looks like they are, it looks like they're not, fall they're not falling for it. So they're just turning, which means, the, which means we do need to do a full, a, a full about turn here. So everybody, hard, both groups hard to port and maintain your fire at the cruisers 
They still have torpedoes, so we do need to be careful of those as well. Let's see if there are incoming torpedoes. Let's see if Stralsund can get out of here. But uh, of course, up there, that was a nice penetrating hit. Who was that? 280 millimeters, yes. Uh, it was a funnel penetration actually on the Minotaur. So if we can, if we can get some, if we can get some good, hit, good hits in, she is flooding slightly. But the uh, the Orion and the Iron Duke, and the rest of the battle cruiser group is now actually coming and giving chase. So. Uh, smart ma maneuver from the British. They're not falling for. They're not falling for it to. Um, they're not falling for it to, uh, to to come rushing after us. So we will try to. We will try to keep the distance open, and um, co complete our turn. Complete our turn to uh, to port. And that should be good. Yeah, rudder midships, and just keep the fire going on on the heavy cruisers. And uh, we might need to do something to keep our to get our flooding con under control in our battleships. Uh, the Helgoland, uh, the Hessen looks still good, and the Deutschland as well. The York has taken a bit of a beating, and so has the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große. But the Stralsund, Stralsund uh, is making. I don't even know what she's making right now. Uh, not. She almost looks like she's dead in the water. No, she's still firing. But she needs. She does need to get out of there. Oh, to incoming torpedoes spotted. And I think we are good. Yes, they've tried a torpedo run. That's why they, that's why they did the turn. So in that case, turn a little bit more, and see if we can um, if we can sail away in this direction. Both groups are making 17 knots, and we keep uh, we keep focusing the fire on the Blenheim. And actually, let's focus on both. Let's focus both groups on uh, on the Minotaur, and see if we can get that thing get that thing. Removed from the battle. Now, yeah, partial penetration on the Blenheim, but I think these are just the light guns. Uh, Wilhelm de Grosse is still taking quite some damage here, uh, but uh, she is one of. Uh, she, I think, yeah, she has slightly better armor, but still, she is taking a lot of, a lot of damage here. She's taking a flooding hit. What was that? Ah, oh, that's the 305s. Yeah, she is, she's taking flooding hits from the 305s. She needs to disengage. Uh, detach and um, retreat. Uh, yeah, she is taking a beating. I think at this point we're going to go. Uh, I mean, the ships aren't going to make 25 knots, but we are going to go. We're going to go up to flank speed, and we will try to get out of here while um, uh, cutting our losses while we can, if the British uh, allow us to disengage. Because the uh, Wilhelm der Große is now taking on water in the stern as well, so she is rapidly losing uh, losing the battle about the pumps. And I will try to I will try to get the groups out of here if possible. We can, yeah. The we, the York has taken quite some damage as well, so we're going to get her to retreat. Can the Stralsund lay smoke again? Uh, not yet. Yeah, we've, we've got the three Deutschland-class battleships who are relatively undamaged and are now in a ranged battle with these heavy cruisers, but uh, uh, we might actually lose the Wilhelm der Große. I don't think they have managed to get the flooding under control. Uh, she had engine problems, but uh, she's rapidly losing, uh, losing buoyancy. The flooding is spreading into the central engine rooms, and I think uh, yeah, she's, listing, she's, listing, uh, she's listing very hard and uh, I am not sure if she can make it out of there. So the heavy, the 305 millimeter shells from the, en from the enemy battle cruisers are definitely, uh, are definitely wrecking havoc on these ships. Even the heavy cruiser guns uh, from the British are definitely causing some, some trouble for us. So let's see, oh, there's the Orion. So, uh, we might be able to still get the Minotaur if we're lucky, but um, this might this might cost us really dearly because we have no way of disengaging from the. Uh, I am going to yeah York, uh, get out of there. I'm going to keep focusing onto the Minotaur, and see if we can fi can finish her off. But uh, the British line is now in in is now in full pursuit. So. I don't know if we can actually still uh, still make it out of here, or if we are going to, 
if we are going to take, uh, if we are going to lose this battle very comprehensively, very, very quickly. Yeah, that's a, oh, that was actually a ricochet. But the Wilhelm der Große is down to, uh, what, what's, how much speed is she making? Uh, she is currently, I can, I'm not even sure where I can see this, but she, she is losing, she's losing uh, buoyancy so rapidly, I think she's lost, which means uh, we do need to, we do need to get the whole group to retreat if we can. And we are going to perform a fighting retreat. The Stralsund doesn't have smoke ready, but uh, has managed to get one of her en engines back under control, uh, under control. The Wilhelm der Große is lost. The flooding is becoming severe in the engine rooms. She's on fire across multiple decks. So I have doubts that we can get out of there. Again, the problem is the speed of these battle cruisers. They are, and I am actually going to uh, shift fire to the Orion, also from the York, and see if we can still, perf maybe we can cause some damage to, uh, to, get them to, to get them to stop giving chase. But uh, this does not look good for, for the Kriegsmarine. I think that was a, probably a comprehensive victory for the British. We have managed to sink a bunch of destroyers and um, heavy cruisers, but uh, yeah, against these battle cruisers, we are on battleships, we are really, we are really, really struggling. So, and I, I'm not even sure we can get the, uh, no, you need to retreat. Not even sure that we can get the group out of here. And it looks like, it actually looks like the, oh, the Großer Kurfürst has, um, has accosted one of, the, uh, one of the enemy destroyers, the Wren. Unfortunately for the Wren, she's out of torpedoes. So that's probably not gonna end too well for her. But she is at least drawing some fire. And, uh, has, I think, completely obliterated the Wren just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think there's not an awful left of that thing because uh, she's, she's broadside on in range of all the, in range of all the guns of, of the Großer Kurfürst. Why is she turning, why is she turning there? Um, oh, because her rudder is damaged. Okay, try to retreat, but I have my doubts that she can make it out of there. But the Wren, I think it's going down, so well, it's another destroyer killed. It's not an awful lot, but um, the bigger problem is Willem der Große is about to sink. The Wren is going down, and now the Hessen is starting to take fire. So uh, Stralsund might make it out, but I think the rest of the fleet is uh, running. Uh, yeah, Kaiser Willem der Große is sinking due to heavy flooding. And it looks like the Orion has taken a couple of hits, but not, not enough to actually uh, get her to slow down. Our ships are battered and bruised. Heavy damage has been inflicted uh, to, to all of them. We have lost one of our battleships and uh, it definitely shows that the British are superior. At this point, this, this task force is fighting for survival and is trying to retreat as quickly as it possible to get out of, uh, out of range of the British ships. That said, the Brits have the advantage in speed and if they choose to, to pursue, then there's little hope for the rest of the task force to make it out of here. We will do what we can to inflict damage on them and try to get them, uh, try to, get them to, uh, to disengage, but that is our only chance of survival. The Hessen, as the last ship in the group, is now taking the brunt of the fire of the pursuing British. Given the situation, uh, we, have we have sent the Großer Kurfürst, who was trying to disengage, back into the battle, to sacrifice herself for the, for the rest of her fleet and try to draw fire from the British, uh, aiming at the Orion and uh, hoping that we can, we can distract them long enough for the, rest of our for the rest of our ships 
to get away, but the chances are slim, and it looks like uh, we might be losing we might be losing the whole fleet at this point. The battle line, consisting of Deutschland herself, Hessen, and Helgoland, both of which are severely damaged, is forming up, and we are going to keep focusing our tar uh, focusing our fire onto the Orion. Although it does look like the British, for some reason, are turning away. So maybe there, yet, maybe there is yet a chance for this, uh, for this group to get out of here. And uh, we will detach Deutschland and get, uh, she's, she's the fastest of them, and get her to flank speed and see if, um, uh, I doubt that Helgoland and Hessen are going to make it out of there, but uh, Given that, given that the British, uh, the British are now uh, have performed a full turn actually, and that was probably due to the threat caused by the Großer Kurfürst, which had no way of getting away, but um, which might have distracted them sufficiently that they can get away. Unfortunately, the Stralsund is running into is running into another cruiser group, so. Uh, all she can do at this point is, oh, she doesn't have any torpedoes left. All she can do at this point is, um, yeah, these are, these are three, light cr three British light cruisers, and uh, there's no way we can defeat, she can take these on. So she's going to go down um, in, in an honorable way as well. Deutschland might be able to escape, but uh, I have little hope for, for, for Hessen and Helgoland. Helgoland is about to go down. And the Großer Kurfürst is is on her is on her last battle here right now, so she will do as much damage as she can, but she will go down fighting, just like the rest of the fleet. Hit by a torpedo and flooding as well as burning, the Rosa crew first is going down together with the whole of her crew. Her name will be remembered. With severe engine damage and making very little speed, the light cruiser, light cruiser Stralsund is in a hopeless fight against four British light cruisers and there's a little chance of her getting out of this as well. She will share the fate of her fleet mates. York, in her attempt to get out of the battle, has now come under fire as well from the British light cruisers. She is turning hard to port and will try to maybe at least take another one of them down with her. But I fear that the Stralsund is lost unless she can get out of the, out of the area. Uh, the Melampus is coming under fire from the York and if she can land a couple of good hits with, the, with her heavy guns then uh, this might be uh, at least this might be at least a notch in her belt before the before the inevitable end and uh, another cruiser that the British cannot use anymore. The Battle of the North Sea of November 1911 has ended with a victory for the British. We have managed to sink eight ships. We have, uh, we have damaged two heavy cruisers. We've sunk the Cressy, the Narcissus. Uh, we've sunk the Colum light cruiser Colombo and five British destroyers. But for the loss of the Kaiser Wilhelm der Große, the Große Kurfürst, the Hessen and the Helgoland. Only the Deutschland and the York with heavy damage have made it out of there. Uh, Stralsund has been destroyed, but Rostock has managed to survive. All in all, this was a victory for the British, and the Kaiser has called for an emergency meeting of the Admiralty to discuss the outcome and the impact this has on the proceeding of the war. The nation is in shock. It looks like the technology and the advancements of the British in, the, in, in their naval construction are significantly more further ahead of us than we thought. 
and measures will have to be taken. Our modern ships need to be brought to bear and our old ships will need to be out, taken out of service because this battle has clearly shown that they are no longer fit for a clash of fleets.